there, here's Ruth again from the Jazz Bakery. I'm so excited to bring you another amazing performance in our June series. It will be great to see all of you up close and personal when we can be together again and celebrate jazz. Meanwhile, thank you so much for allowing us to bring this wonderful music directly to you. I'm so pleased to welcome the splendid guitarist Larry Coons with his cohort bassist Derek Olds. This performance is made possible in part by a grant from the City of Los Angeles Department of Cultural Affairs. This concert is our gift to you, but please remember you can make a tax-deductible donation to support our organization. We've been a nonprofit since 1992, and all donations go directly to our artists and to help us illuminate jazz as an art form. Hello, everybody. I'm flattered that my hero, Ruth Price, asked me to join in this series of streaming concerts from the Jazz Bakery. I have a long history with the Jazz Bakery. For me, it's an iconic place to play. Uh, I played at the original Helms Building back in the 90s with numerous artists and actually heard some of my favorite concerts there, one really memorable concert with um, Jim Hall. I'm, I'm kind of missing Ruth's presence here today because Ruth is such an enthusiastic supporter of the arts. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to hearing her virtual introduction. Um, but my partner in crime today is one of my favorite musicians on the planet, Dark Olis on the bass. And we're gonna play a mix of original material and a few uh, standards as well for you today. And we're gonna start off with a tune of mine entitled Blues for Albert E. And it's not blues for Albert E., uh, you know, blues guitarist from the Delta. It's, it's Albert Einstein, actually, a blues dedicated to Albert Einstein. I think I might be the first composer to dedicate a piece to Albert Einstein. But it's sort of like a, a blues on steroids. It sounds like it might have some uh, quantum theory mixed in there. And then we're going to follow that with a beautiful ballad that Derek wrote that is sort of in quasi-bolero style rumba, uh, and that's entitled Embarcadero. Thank you. 
So that was a piece that has been on my mind for quite a few years, a piece entitled Django by the great John Lewis from the Modern Jazz Quartet. And um, we're gonna follow that with a piece that I wrote entitled Light and Shadow. Um, but before we do that, maybe I should introduce the third member of the group who you might have seen moving through the shot. You might not have seen him, but he was definitely present. And that's my cat, Max. Uh, very friendly Maine Coon, and he really understands this music. He, he helps the improvisational process to the nth degree. So here is Light and Shadow.
Uh, we're going to play another original of mine, uh, and this is dedicated to a Brazilian guitarist that is a little on the obscure side, although I think Ruth might have hosted him at some point, and that's the great guitarist Ginga, who has the most unique melodic and harmonic sense of almost any composer I've ever encountered. Uh, at this point, I'd also like to thank uh, my old friend Paul Pegas, who is just incredible when it comes to sound. I, I have so many fond memories uh, in the original Jazz Bakery space of, of Paul sort of tuning the sound in just where it needed to be in, in some really challenging situations. Uh, I'd also like to thank two new friends who are doing the videography today, uh, and that's Dan and Landis. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this production. It's a new challenge for me to sort of play in this context, you know, uh, recording at home, you know, with no audience, um, but we're, we're doing the best we can. So uh, here's Ginga.
Uh, so grateful to Ruth Price. I love you, Ruth. Uh, what you've done for this community over numerous decades is just incredible to me. Um, you're a force of nature. So please join us and go to the Jazz Bakery website, any social media sites that feature Jazz Bakery content, and continue to support the cause for Ruth and for the rest of us local musicians and for the global jazz community. This performance is made possible in part by a grant from the City of Los Angeles Department of Cultural Affairs. Big gratitude as well to my dear friend, Darek Oles. There's no greater melodic 
voice on any instrument, in my estimation, than Darek. So um, it's been a wonderful afternoon, a huge learning experience for me, actually doing this uh, without an audience. It's, uh, it's quite different, but um, it's, it's what we do in hard times to keep this music alive. And I'm so grateful to Ruth and to Paul and to Dan and to Landis. Um, and we thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna end with a, another original of mine. And this is a dedication to a teacher um, and mentor of many years and basically uh, sort of a family member, uh, the great guitarist, Jimmy Weibel. And Jimmy, for those of you that didn't know him, was a contemporary of Charlie Christian. Jimmy passed away about 11 years ago at the age of 87. So we live in uh, a time where there's actually, you know, two degrees, three degrees of separation between all the great masters of this art form and ourselves. Um, so Jimmy was my bridge to that past. And Jimmy had this really unique style of playing. He played with Benny Goodman, he played with Red Norvo, and he also played with Texas swing bands with Bob Wills and Spade Cooley. And he had this swing that was just insistent. And it, it's best described as Texas swing, a little different than, than your typical uh, jazz swing. And uh, he also loved the music of Bartok. And a lot of his music had that kind of spare harmonic quality that is characterized by the music of Bartok. You know, two note voicings that say a lot as opposed to big, full, lush voicings. So Jimmy liked things spare. Um, so this is a piece I, that I entitled Weibolesque in, in tribute to Jimmy. And it's got a lot of those um, Texas swing elements combined with uh, Bartok. So this is for Jimmy, Weibolesque. One, two,
Larry Coons, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Oof.